In this tutorial of Dreamweaver, we're going to show you how to create PayPal shopping carts and donate buttons. Now, you could go to paypal.com and use their wizard to generate the HTML code and plug it in directly to your website. But uh, an easier way doing that is to use the PayPal extension for Dreamweaver. Uh, so if you are a Dreamweaver user, you could just uh, add the extension to the application so you could generate uh, the same HTML code that you need. And uh, that's what we're going to show you today. Um, we're using here Dreamweaver CS3 and the PayPal extension doesn't come by default installed. So what you have to do is, uh, the first step is to get the extension file and install it. The PayPal extension for Dreamweaver is, uh, is ma made by a company called WebAssist. So if you go to this URL, webassist.com, and so when you get there, scroll all the way to the bottom of the page, go to sitemap, and then from here, search for PayPal. And the toolkit that you need is the PayPal e-commerce toolkit. So if you click on that, you will see that the toolkit, the extension is actually free. So go ahead and add it to the shopping cart. Uh, it's going to ask you to log in, register using a uh, username and password. And then once you grab the file, go ahead and download the file and install it. Now, once you install, once you successfully install the extension, you will see that Dreamweaver adds a new tab called PayPal here. So that's when you know that the extension has been successful, successfully installed. Um, so once you get there, Go ahead and create a new file, and um, just gonna create a new file here. And you will see that if you click on the PayPal uh, tab here, you will see uh, five new buttons here. Uh, the first one is Insert PayPal Buy Now button. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And once I do that, it's gonna you know, take me through a quick wizard to add the HTML code for me. So in step one, it's asking me for the PayPal account. So if you have um, a account with PayPal, go ahead and put in your email address. If you don't, uh, you can sign up for a free account with PayPal. Uh, so I'm just going to say PayPal at domain.com and then click on next. Uh, on step two here, you just uh, select the button that you want. So I'm just going to select PayPal Pay Now, Buy Now. And then in step three, uh, it's asking me to select um, an item um, name service. So I'm just going to say some item. And the item number field is actually optional. So I'm just going to leave it blank. The next field is the price for the item. So I'm just going to say $10. And it's it's asking me here if I want to allow users to purchase more than one item. So I'm just going to check that, say yes, and then click on next. Um, this is all optional, but it's uh, in this field, it's asking me for the base shipping. So I'm just going to say $2. And the extra shipping for extra items, I'm going to leave that blank. And the handling, I'm going to leave that blank as well. Um, ask buyers to provide you with their shipping address and I'm just going to say no and uh, I'm going to leave this check as yes to allow customers to optionally, optionally um, include a note with the, their payment and I'm just going to click on next. This is also optional. Um, you could uh, specify a success URL page where uh, when um, users make the payment it will uh, the system will route them automatically to the success page or um, a cancel uh, URL page. So I'm just going to see, uh, leave that blank for now and hit on finish. And let's look at it in the browser. Uh, 
and uh, here as you see say if I click on buy now it uh, takes me to the PayPal page and as you see the unit price is ten dollars the quantity one and the shipping and handling is two dollars so if I go ahead and um, for example change the quantity to two and say update totals that becomes twenty two dollars uh, so that's the basic idea the other um, uh, buttons that you could add is uh, uh, you could do um, insert PayPal add to cart button so let's go ahead and uh, do this quickly then again it's gonna take you through the same uh, same wizard here so next add to cart and for this I'm just gonna put a price of $5 and I uh, know actually that's the description some item and the price is five dollars I'm just gonna say no for the shipping address and yes for the note leave that blank and here I'm just gonna say five dollar item and let's look at it in the browser So here, as you see, I have a five-dollar item, and if I say click on uh, click to cart, add to cart actually, uh, takes me here to the PayPal page, and uh, for some reason it's saying the quantity three, so I'm just gonna change it to one. Update cart, and it's five dollars now, and the user could click from here. Um, either on um, proceed to check out or go back to shopping so that's the basic idea the uh, you could also do um, add insert a PayPal view cart button or do uh, uh, PayPal donation button so uh, that's the PayPal extension for Dreamweaver CS3 hope you found this tutorial useful and um, we have we're working on uh, several new tutorials so feel free to subscribe to our channel thank you